So this is part two, you guys. I um, my phone is stored. My phone storage is on the floor. I gotta delete some more things. I can't record so long. Y'all know me. I I make long videos, but now I have they gotta be very very short. So I gotta be very very direct on what I'm saying because if I don't get it out all at one time, it wouldn't. It just cut off. But um, like I was saying, and I just got some new information. And I already felt it in my spirit. I don't know if I said it on the last one. But he wanted to fuck on somebody else. He didn't have a reason why he told you to get out. Wow. Girl. And you just cook for this nigga. See, that's the, that's the thing. When you start catering to someone that ain't your man. <laughs> baby. That's when they gonna start seeing another side from you. And I'm gonna just say it like this. You can, you can cook. Be Susie Homemaker. All you, all you want to you can be Susie homemaker all you want to but that's I'm trying to tell you they still gonna want something new mm -hmm. and then you know what for the other girls I mean I was putting like this for the other girl that's that's that was planning on coming to the condo to get some dick for the baby you baby you, I, you shouldn't even get no ass because the same way he did his baby mom he gonna do you <laughs> for the free all because y'all, all because his name is in lights and shit. Now I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, I like his music, but when I see, you know, behavior like that from me, you know, it's just kind of just like wow. It's it's not so it's not a good look. It's just not a good look on your part, and it's not a good look for the woman. <laughs> Cause man, girl, you making yourself look crazy. Not crazy, but just not so bright. You know. Get your, sh you know, do like um, what that woman did in the way in Excel. Instead of her telling the man to get his shit, you should have been getting your shit. Mm hmm. You should have been getting your shit quick, fast, and a motherfucking hairy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know, where in hell someone's gonna be. I'm, well, this is what she, she said. It's, just, it's like she just dropped everything for this motherfucker just to, I guess, depend on him. But you can't depend on nobody out here. You got to depend on yourself. Because at the, at the same time, when it all boils over, girl, you got to find somewhere to go. I'm sure you don't want to go back to the slums or wherever you came from. Because it's going to be different. But you should have some money put up on the side. You ain't, I don't think, you know, your fans or whoever out there that, that knows you is going to see you in down, down and out, you know. But just give it to God. Keep on moving and raise your baby. You know, but just, this, is the, this is just a prime example. <laughs> you got to pick on, you gotta pick pick your partners wisely. You know, if you're gonna have some sex for the good for a good old night, I know it may feel good unprotectedly, but you need to you need to be you need to have something on. <laughs> they do make kind of fool and men. Well, I, I mean, y'all know that, but hell, you just need you need to make that man make sure you tell that man you need to put a condom on. You know, because you don't want to get pregnant. I've heard plenty of women say tell them tell their tell the tell their side pieces. You know. I mean, well, yeah, they're, they're well, they quote unquote boyfriends, and I'm not trying to get pregnant, so we don't have to use a condom, you know. And that's well, that's how it should be, yeah. But girl, it's just just it's just learn from this. You'll grow from this. You'll grow from this, cause you know what? What goes around comes around. All these niggas out here that want to sleep around with different type of women, you know. I'm trying to tell you, when you get up in age, you'll see. <laughs> You're gonna be you you're gonna be part of the old wormy club. Mm-hmm. There ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody too much gonna want you. It's better that's why you should that's why it's, it's it's better off to get a wife. Someone that you can live you can you can um be with for some years, depending on how your relationship is. You know? Not every marriage is gonna work out. Sometimes work can get between two people, but that shouldn't really happen either. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't. But at the same time, it's all about y'all dynamics and how y'all work with each other. You know. Simple as that. And I wanted to talk, I wanted to uh, tell you guys this too. Man, these grocery stores, they are being lazy as hell because they have not taken down old food or food that is finna expire. I got me some chicken salad the other day and I was really, really, my mouth had my mouth really watery, watery for it. I mean, my mouth was really watery for it. And um, it was spoiled. It had a tang aftertaste and I, I know how chicken salad is supposed to taste but I also know when shoot when food is finna go spoil or go bad or well not when food is spoiling and, and it's going bad these workers out here are not changing them shells so you guys please 
please just look on no motherfucking expiration dates because right what's going on right now in, in these stores when they got this food in the refrigerator because the damn chicken salad was, was in the refrigerator in a plastic thing but i knew something was up when i seen the top look like it was rising like it was puffy and i pushed it down like yeah that may not that may not be so good but at the same time it could have came like that but i know i know better i know when shit when shit is going out of date the plastic started looking kind of funny, you know, like it just puffs up. But yeah, I didn't make a complaint about it because the last time I went to Kroger, I had found a, some, a, me and my grandmother found some chips of glass in our cheese. Now, I didn't go back and tell the motherfuckers that, and I really should have because that really could have hurt both of us. We eating cheese dip. What the fuck is glass doing in the motherfucking block of the cheese, huh? See, that's some, it's somebody that's around that damn factory ain't watching what the fuck they doing, but they want to put that shit out on the shelves and serve it to the people, which ain't right at all. Y'all just be careful. Check your foods. Check your foods. If you have to take it out of the container and put a fork in and see if you don't, you know, you know, see, and see anything that you, that's not supposed to be up in there because they, this stuff is crazy. I almost want to have me some chickens and just get, just start making me a little garden in the back and bam, that's what it's going to be because... It just, it just don't seem, it, it's just, no, it really never been safe, but it just, it's just, it just goes to show that it's just, this, this shit is getting out of hand. It's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And on my last, not on my last topic, I do gotta say this too. Okay, so you guys know I, I dibble and dab in marijuana. And, um, lately, I've been really feeling like these niggas are buying, uh, that fake shit. Uh, what is it, CBD? Now they got that shit here. And you can get it in a, like a bud type, or you can get it in a, um, you know, oils and shit. But I really do believe like these niggas are, are running. They've running out of out of their good shit, so they want to have they, they want to try to keep their clientele up. So they go out there get that CBD shit, put it in the same bag as the loud, and then they want to try to sell it as it's as it's loud, cause because of the, the the fake weed been in the in the in the strong bag in that strong bag that the, that the good weed was in. So now motherfuckers that that, that don't know. <laughs> They'll get over, you know, they are getting over on you. And I feel like a lot of times motherfuckers that are about around here are doing those type of things. And that's, that's some really shady shit to me. And that's really slick. And it's really, really like, damn, you know, if you ain't got no good, good, you ain't, you ain't got it. You can just tell me that because why the fuck should you have to keep on rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up until you feel something. You know what I'm saying? I don't like shit like that. I feel like I just wasted some money, you know? Because I don't spend too much money on marijuana like that at all. You know, I eat first before I smoke something, okay? But yeah, I just feel like a lot of these niggas out here, they lazy. They're getting lazier and lazier. It's like they have too many nightstands and too many drunken nights and pop pill popping, you know? It's just like, damn, motherfuckers getting lazy out here. Like, treat your clientele like how you want to be treated when they giving you the, giving, when they giving you their cash money. Because a lot of times, motherfuckers don't even have to smoke, let alone even drink, you know. Because nine times out of ten, you know you got to get your ass back up and do the shit all over again when you got to go back to work. But, yeah, on that note, you guys, I'm out of here. Watch out for these folks because these people are acting crazy. They're acting crazy. All right, you guys, I'm out of here.